family played a big role uh, in the lives of Queen Miss Dominion. Tell, talk about how the concept of family changed your character. I, I mean, I, I think that's why she is so guarded. My character, Petra, is so guarded and defensive. So she never lets down any walls. She has this flat, monotonous, broody, you know, wall up all the time. And it's because she feels she can't trust. She, she grew up in a death world. I think if you read the comic books, you kind of see that the the family is a major through line for all the characters in terms of making them who they are, and most of them come from these very traumatic backstories. And then they kind of are faced with the choice of what type of person they're going to become, you know, after they've gone through this trauma. Um, and we try to remain very faithful to that when we created uh, the show and make sure that we told those animated backstories and really showed you where they came from and why maybe they were making some of the decisions that they were making, whether you agreed or disagreed with what they were doing on, on camera. It's a lot of broken homes. Kids are Lily and Marcus, Mace. So I think, I think the, the real family that they find is each other. It's cliche and she's just it's true. Well said, well said. Thanks. <laughs> Where did the animated backstory idea come from? Was that a Rick thing or was that in the room? I, I actually think it came from one of the first dinners that we had with the Russo brothers. Mm -hmm. um, and I think actually maybe it was a, it was a Joe pitch originally. Um, the idea of 2D animation yeah. and then kind of it got folded into this idea of like a very clear device that we were going to use every episode. Um, but that kind of happened organically out of that original dinner that we had uh, like three or four years ago. It's been, it's been a while now. Um, and it was always kind of this thing where we're like, we don't know how this is going to turn out. We hope it's amazing. Um, we really love how it ended up turning out. But it was always a huge gamble because so much of the show was going to be relying on this. And we were like, if the animation doesn't work, that's people are going to hit that and they're going to check out. Um, but we were really, really thankful that, that Titmouse did such an awesome job. And Polyester, for the Aston episode, knocked it out of the park. We were, got very, very lucky that it all came together. For us, what has been the most exciting scene to recreate from the comics? Oh man, there's so many in the Acid episode that are amazing. Um, <laughs> the most fun I think that I had on set was watching the Marcus pants shit. <laughs> that, <laughs> because, yeah, that's definitely number one for me. Because just watching Ben's face, but then also watching Rick's face. <laughs> The juxtaposition of those two are really amazing. Ben did not, he was so mad. He was so mad that he was so cold too. He covered in shit. <laughs> so awesome. He just took a, so a he just put a, a nice video on Instagram that I shot of him getting the, the diary applied to him uh, that perfectly encapsulates his experience on this show. Yeah. What was your favorite uh, Petra storyline so far? Uh, like a favorite moment for her? Yeah. I I keep repeating this because it's true with tracing. Obviously, it was so. It's, I think it's just because the memories attached to making it were so fun. I mean, Liam just running around in his underwear, pretending to be Captain Underwear, and it was just like we were all loopy. I think we were shooting late. I think, and we were just all exhausted. So we were all running around in underwear. All playing different characters and harassing crew members. It's pretty great. <laughs> and then who would win in a battle royale out of everybody in the show? Uh, I mean, I think the obvious answer would be Sai. You know, but a um, couple of the characters with their wits, they might be able to cheat him. Miles, mm -hmm. who's your problem? I'm gonna say a uh, face off between Marcus and Master Lin. I was gonna say Marcus has those crazy hobo powers. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's, he's a real he survivor. Knows how to cheat death. He knows how to cheat death. Yeah, he's a survivor. Awesome. Yeah. And they're right. kicking us out. All right.